one of the most pro-corporate states in the country, Delaware, is considering uh, uh, letting corporations vote. It seems like just kind of a lazy parody, almost. Yeah. Uh, a lazy parody of Republicans. What's, what's happening in, in Delaware? Are corporations going to be able to vote? So I shared this story with some friends, and uh, one of my friends, Adam McKay, uh, he, he texted back to me. He was like, is this a real story or is this the onion? Like, <laughs> he couldn't believe it, right? Like, court, like, that just doesn't sound, that doesn't even sound real. And, and it actually is real. Um, and to be clear, it's not at a statewide level, but in, in a lot of these uh, East Coast states, the state legislature has to kind of approve what municipalities do. And so... Essentially, what happens is, is that in this town of Seaford, Delaware, um, this this state, the, the town is asking uh, the state legislature uh, to uh, let it allow um, to let it allow LLCs to vote uh, in elections, uh, LLCs, limited liability corporations, uh, which so so the, so the Republicans uh, in the legislature in Delaware in the minority. They put a bill together to allow this to happen, and the Democrats have advanced it. Now, they pulled it back at the last minute uh, earlier this week. So it's not clear <laughs> whether this bill is going to pass. But obviously, the precedent of allowing LLCs to vote in any municipal election, I mean, that is, that's, that is really, you know, through the looking glass. Um, I think it would create a real precedent. Now, now just to be clear... Um, uh, corporations in some Delaware, uh, uh, towns, uh, have been allowed to vote in like referenda, uh, you know, ballot initiatives and the like, uh, which, are, which to my mind is also insane, but this would actually let corporations vote in like city council elections. Again, it's, it's not a huge town, uh, but the precedent is what is at issue here. And as, as you can see in our story at, at levernews.com, um, it follows uh, only two years ago, um, Nevada considered legislation from its then Democratic governor at the time to allow corporations to create their own municipal governments. Uh, now, just get your head around that, right? Like the, a, a corporation could buy a parcel of land and then apply with the state uh, to be allowed to say that it is the government, yeah. the, the local government of that area now florida actually kind of has that already with disney, yeah. with disney yeah right like Dis disney is basically its own government uh in the land that it owns um in and around the uh, the, the disney theme park uh all of this uh, to my mind should be super disturbing right like this is this sounds like something out of a paul verhoeven movie it sounds like something out of like robocop or something <laughs> but but this is real uh, now, now the Nevada bill did not pass. Uh, the Delaware bill is still sitting there. It's not clear what, what's going to happen there. And, and it's worth mentioning one other piece of context here is that Nevada and Delaware have been sort of competing with each other to be the most uh, pro-corporate, pro-friendly, uh, pro-corporate friendly state in America. Uh, and, and this is where it, it, it's going, right? Like, who can give corporations, which state can attract business by giving corporations more and more power over everything? The Florida Disney thing is funny as well, because you've seen Ron DeSantis like try and claw back some power from Disney, mm -hmm. but not for any actual good, decent, altruistic reasons, but because they're woke and Marxist and have like people of color and non-binary people in their films, like not because it's actually super evil and dystopian and disturbing the fact that they have this kind of power and ability. <laughs> I mean, that's t to my mind that it's like one of the most just like, like depressing parts of politics that like Ron DeSantis criticizing Disney's sort of sovereignty, like it, it, as a sovereign entity is accurate on that level. Like there shouldn't be corporate sovereign entities like, you know, that have their own governments. But of course, it's motivated by something hideously bad and wrong. Like Disney can't have corporate sovereignty because it's too woke. It's like, dude, you were like half right. Like Disney shouldn't have corporate sovereignty, period, like as a principle. 
But the only reason you're mad about it is because Disney is supposedly too woke. Like, like that's where our politics are. Like, like, and then the worst part was, is that the Democrats were like defending Disney. Yeah. Like, no, Disney, Disney is okay. It's okay that they're like, they have their own, you know, government <laughs> like that. Like this is an attack on Disney's government. It's like, wait a minute. <laughs> wait, now you're defending like a corporate government yeah. because it's, 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 you know, it, it has divert like, no, like this, how did our politics become this messed up? Yeah. Well, I think yeah. in terms we of the story, but... Disney's military, we need yeah. to, we need to <laughs> exactly. rush billions in aid. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I think in terms of this so, Delaware story, so I think you might as well just, you know, you already have corporations that have like the same free speech rights as uh, human beings and citizens. They're already able to like legally oh, bribe politicians. Why don't you just skip the middleman and just give them the right to vote? And then you can just formalize the whole process rather than having this kind of degree of separation between the corporations. Just, if I just, you know, let's put all the cards on the table. <laughs> no, I mean, I think that's obviously that's where they want it. You know, that's where, frankly, what's where, I mean, where American politics is going. And, and as our story started, look, the, the lead of the story notes, Joe Biden has called his home. His words, the corporate state of Delaware, Republican Mitt Romney has insisted that corporations are people. So in a sense, this is embodying the bipartisan spirit, Dem Delaware Democrats yeah. advancing a Republican bill that would allow corporations as people to directly vote in municipal elections. Like, like there is a consistency to it, right? Like a hor horrible, repulsive consistency that if you think corporations are people and you're cool with that, like, I, I guess this is okay. I mean, it's not okay to me, but like. <laughs> Yeah, I guess that's the theory. There's a sick logic to it. You also point out, I mean, the danger if if this were to happen, there's in the most recent election, just 340 people voted. Mm -hmm. There are 234 potentially votes that would be added through this legislation. I mean, that would basically allow if the business community there operated mostly in unison to dictate the laws for this municipality which yes. means they could just rewrite anything they wanted in their favor yes yes exactly and, and and that's that's what they want that's that's why this this should be scary to anybody i mean it's 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 a it's definitely super creepy and i think if it happens it other places will take a look at it and say listen they did it why can't we do it and I'm sure you know, uh, big companies like Amazon are looking with this, uh, looking at this very uh, with a lot of interest as well, because you know they would love to have that kind of power over certain municipalities. Or to, I know Bezos and Amazon have talked about opening sure. up like, company towns as well, where their workers can live. I'm sure they would like nothing more than to have their own little company towns where they could just pay their employees in script, Amazon script um, and just have their own little fiefdoms there. You know, it's, I'm, I'm sure that there's many big corporations that are looking at that with a lot of interest. Totally, 100%. Even if it doesn't pass, like I think you're you're both right. It's going to be it's going to be looked at elsewhere. Elsewhere. So this is something that listeners need to pay attention to uh, and hopefully push back. Um, my my guess is that we'll, we'll we'll see it as like there'll be a, an Alec version of this. The American Legislative Exchange Council, the uh, Republican group that coordinates uh, state legislative efforts, that that they won't that the Republican bill or the Alec bill will be something like, it won't be sort of as, as brazen as just corporations can vote. It will be something along the lines of like a preemption thing. Like cities can allow LLCs to vote, right? Municipalities, counties, et cetera, et cetera, right? You'll see that in state, that'd be my bet in state legislatures. You'll see Republicans introduce bills that would under the guise of local control, they will say, you know, municipalities, counties can allow LLCs uh, and other kinds of corporate entities to vote. That that's that's oh. my that's it's kind of an evil genius the way that Alec yeah. works. Because people don't pay attention and they're not or for the most part and they're not engaged at the local level to to fight back against it, which would effectively Absolutely. give a lot of these business owners just two votes. You'd, it's Absolutely ridiculous. Right. Yeah.